Conceived in 2002 and started in 2007, the new corporate headquarters of the Nigeria Customs Service has taken 16 years to construct. Although the contract was initially awarded at a cost of 2.8 billion naira in 2005, it was reviewed to 19.6 billion naira due to factors like remodifications and inflation. The building consists of two wings of five floors and a 12-floor tour. The Trula General of Customs, Hamid Ali, says the smart building has a state-of-the-art technologies with a monitoring center with which the custom can view activities at the ports and its other formations. We want to express our sincere appreciation for the support extended towards the customs modernization project. This transformative initiative aims to modernize all aspects of the Nigerian customs service operations through the innovative use of technology. With your Excellency's backing, we have embarked on a journey to digitalize our processes, enhance efficiency, and improve service delivery. The CMP will not only streamline our operations, but also contribute to trade facilitation, revenue optimization, security, and the overall economic growth of our nation. On the operations of the Nigeria Customs Service during his tenure, President Mohamed Buhari says the impact of the service was felt in border control and protection. How many nations are so lucky as Nigeria in the world? Very few nations were as lucky as we are. We thank God for that. So closing that border, 1,600 kilometers more than that, from Lake Chad to Benin. And Nigeria insists that they have to impress their neighbors and other people that they eat foreign rice. I said, no rice. You either you eat what you grow, you grow what you eat, or you die. I, I, I think uh, I, I tried to make my point. And later, Nigeria appreciated it because it provides more jobs. People go back to the land. We have the land, and we produce what we eat. Let uh, whoever bring, uh, grow excess rice eat his own rice or sell it somewhere else, but not to Nigeria. The Nigeria Customs Service is one of the highest revenue generating agencies in the country. Through its ports and terminal multipurpose limited, the service says it generated more than 182 billion naira in total as revenue between the months of January to September 2022.